Hello FPV pilots from around the world, Neatbeat FPV here and after 3 days of trying to get this cool feature to work it's finally working and I can change settings of the IRC Trump VTX using a dedicated FR Sky Tyrannus setting menu via Lua script. I had nasty 3 days of troubleshooting so it was really sad for me but very good for all of you because my guide will be more detailed and I gained some experience regarding which configuration is recommended. So the link for the guide is in the description below. Um, I tried 3 different, three different VDXs, I tried SPF3 and Omnibus F3 flight controllers and also tested with the XSR and X4R. Before I continue, I just want to send a huge thanks to Rafael Quafik that had a great part in my process of getting this feature to work. Rafael is one of the developers who worked the code in Betaflight for the VTX support. Thank you so much for your help. Please notice that this feature isn't available in Betaflight 3.1 that was just released, so you need to flash a dedicated version. So, you will need an FR Sky Tyrannus radio controller with an OpenTX 2.2 firmware. This firmware supports the Lua script feature. Uh, immersion RC Trump AV video transmitter. Flight controller with 3 UARTs. Most, free, most F3 FC will be good. Compile a special Betaflight hex file. Depends on your, on your FC target and flash it. You need the latest Lua script with the VDX setting menu and a receiver with a telemetry port, um, S port, uh, for example X4R or XSR. The way it works is the RX S port is connected to the URTX in the FC and the Trump HV T pin telemetry is connected to another URTX in the FC as well. That way you have a communication between your RX to FC to Trump HV and vice versa. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick demo of how this thing works. Alright, so this is the Omnibus F3 flight controller. This is the XSR receiver and obviously this is the Trump HV VTX. The Trump T telemetry is connected to UART TX1, the S port output connected to UART TX2. And obviously, in the ports tab in Betaflight Configurator, it's defined accordingly. Alright. Okay, so here in the display section, I defined the script, the Lua script, so it could be loaded by going to the main screen and long press the page button and then you can see first page is, sorry, first page is for PID, second page is for rate and the third page is it's dedicated for VTX settings. As you can see, when I long press this page button and getting to the Lua script you see all the settings. Let's just change it back to 25 and I can play with the settings. I have the band, now it's on fat chart, you can change the band. And once I press long once I long press the menu button and save page, it's saving sending the data to the VTX and reloading it with the new data. So let's just make sure the power is registered. Sometimes it, you need to press reload. Okay, here you go. 25 millivolts F4. Now I'm on channel 4. There you go. Once I change to channel 7, look, save page and here is channel 6, channel 7. Alright, so let's try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna change the the screen to channel 1. Now it's on channel 1 and I'm gonna save and I'm gonna change here the VDX setting to channel 1 save page and I should see a picture here. There you go. There you go, it's working, it's great, 
it's awesome. Also, if you have an OSD here, you can also um, change setting using command sticks like this. Right? You have the OSD, and we can change trump setting here. Go to features, VTX trump. Here you have the settings. So I can also change the settings here as well. Alright, I really hope you enjoyed this video on how to change your VTX, your Trump VTX settings using the FR Sky Tyrannus built in menu. And if you want to try it yourself, the link in the description. Please subscribe to my Facebook page, uh, comment, share any thoughts, any ideas will be welcome. And see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>